pleased to be here to discuss with you today the topic of fashionably legal, highlighting issues that arise in fashion and intellectual property. First, we'll look at what is fashion law. Fashion law encompasses several legal practice areas, including, but not limited to, patent, trade dress, trademark, copyright, licensing, and international law. Even employment and child labor law attorneys represent clients in legal matters related to the fashion industry. As the fashion industry makes a lot of money each year globally, fashion companies have turned to attorneys, particularly attorneys who practice intellectual property law, to help protect their ideas, brands, and designs. In recent years, courts have been faced with several cases seeking to define and clarify how intellectual property laws should be applied to fashion-related products and designs. Successfully protecting fashion-related products and designs by utilizing intellectual property laws has long been a challenge that companies and designers have had to face. So looking at what is fashion? Fashion companies who manufacture and or sell handbags, shoes, jewelry, and clothing continue to explore how intellectual property may better protect their designs and creations. Some of the fashion companies that have been involved in high profile cases include Yves Saint Laurent, Adidas, and Forever 21 to name a few. So fashion, when it comes to intellectual property, can include high fashion as well as the regular clothes or shoes or accessories we may wear every day. To get started in this topic, let's look at a trivia question. According to the Joint Economic Committee of the U.S. Congress, how much money was spent on fashion in the U.S. in 2015? If you guessed C, $250 billion, then you would be correct. So here's a second trivia question. How much money was spent on fashion globally in 2015? If you guessed B, $1.2 trillion, then you would be correct. Fashion is a structurally diverse industry ranging from major international retailers to wholesalers to large design houses to one-person design shops. It employs people across occupations, including fashion designers, computer programmers, lawyers, accountants, copywriters, social media directors, and project managers. Manufacturing is only a fraction of the modern apparel industry, as it is a highly sophisticated industry involving fashion market research, brand licensing and intellectual property rights, design, materials engineering, product manufacturing, marketing, as well as distribution. So let's look at some of the origins of intellectual property and fashion, particularly here in the United States. First case we'll look at is Cheney Brothers versus Doris Silk Corporation. This is a Second Circuit case from 1929, and it's considered to be an early fashion law case here in the U.S. The background is, is that Cheney Brothers manufactured seasonal silks in various patterns, releasing an array of designs each year. Even commercially successful patterns did not often last more than eight or nine months on the market. Copyright and patent laws made it impractical for Cheney to register and protect each print it produced every year. Doris Silk Corporation copied one of Cheney's successful prints and made it available for less than Cheney's price. Cheney sought to enjoy Doris Silk from copying its dress designs during the season. The trial court denied this injunction request, and Cheney appealed the decision of the Southern District of New York, in which that court found in favor of Doris Silk, holding that Cheney's design had not been copyrighted and thus was not protectable. The Second Circuit held that because Cheney could not secure a copyright or patent on its patterns, they could not recover because of Doris Silk's copying. Since statutory authority pursuant to the patent or copyright law existed to protect Cheney's pattern, the court held that the property rights were limited to the tangible objects embodying the invention. Thus, although Doris Silk was found to have copied Cheney's patterns, the copying did not give rise to legal action against Doris Silk. Though this case was unsuccessful for Cheney Brothers at that time, this was, was a situation that emphasized the need for better legal protections for apparel or fashion, such as through some amendments to the copyright laws or um, evaluations in how companies might use the protection. So let's look at some different areas of intellectual property and how they intersect with fashion, starting with trademarks. Christian Louboutin, SA, has produced luxury footwear, the vast majority of which features a bright red lacquered outsole. 
Louboutin applied to register the red sole, which we'll refer to here in this presentation as the red sole trademark. And they got federal registration by the US Trademark Office in 2008. Some examples of the trademark registrations that Christian Louboutin obtained are shown on this slide. 